welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree, and today I just wanted to try out some of the new makeup I bought recently. We have a little Sephora, Dollar General, and Ulta mixed in this video, some products from each of those retailers. And I was gonna put them on my face anyway and thought, why not do a little first impression video? I did have a haul go up recently, where it was just kind of a long, chaotic ramble about all the new stuff I bought. So some stuff from that video is what I'm gonna be trying out today. I did already put on primer. I put on the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer, but I wanna try out the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I got a little sample card in my Sephora order, and I think these two shades, Mont Blanc and Santa Fe, I think I'm gonna mix those two together because I feel like this one's a little too light, that one's a little too, I think this one might be okay. But I think I'm gonna mix them together because I don't even know if there's enough in there for one use, to be honest. And I am in a makeup, like, I was gonna say renaissance, but I put on makeup every single day, even if I'm not going anywhere. Even on a no makeup makeup day or a light skin day, I'm still putting some makeup on my face every day. I just like it, it's so fun. And anyway, right now I'm in like a bye, 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 bye. Like I want it all, I want everything. And there are even products that I've never been interested in before, like this, that suddenly I'm like, I gotta go buy it. I can't open this thing. Okay, we're just gonna have to rip into it. Anyway, there, I do go through phases, I think like all of us do, where some days or some months I'm like, I just wanna use what I have. I really love using what I have. I love shopping my stash all the time. And then there are times like now where I'm like, oh my God, I want everything. I don't know. Uh, so these are the two shades. I'm just going to mix them together. If you've tried this foundation before, let me know how it is um, or how you like it. Okay, I can't open with these nails. I took an orange to work the other day and I didn't realize I was going to have to peel it. So I had a plastic a plastic knife and I the knife was bending as I was trying to cut the orange. Okay, I didn't think this through. Let me see if I can grab it with my, my tweezers. This is where a nice little plastic... You know those little plastic palettes that people have sometimes? This is where that would come in handy. Or a little plastic spatula of some sort. Okay, this is a mess. It's gonna be fine though. I'm just gonna get those both on my hand. We'll mix them together and see what happens. I feel like the light is not gonna cancel out the dark as much as I was hoping it would. Let's get a little more of the light one, the Mont Blanc. And we'll just put it on. I really wanted to try the Makeup Forever, their new one, but I don't know the shades. I couldn't find a shade, at least in a swatch, that looked like it would work for me. Ooh. You know, it's been a long time since I tried a high-end foundation. I can't even think of the last one. Maybe the Dior Backstage one. I don't even have any. I have the Dior Backstage Foundation, and I have the Derma Blend, and that's kind of it. Everything else is drugstore stuff. Not that I'm against high-end foundation, I just, I don't know. Just haven't found one that really interested me until the uh, Makeup For Everyone came out. It's blending great. I wanna get a little more of the light one. There was plenty inside of this little sample, like one one of them could have done one application. It looks good. It looks really good. Hmm, if you use this all the time, let me know how you like it, because this, this looks all right. Okay, I need to wipe off my fingers and I got foundation in my hair. It's a mess already. Hello? I'm gonna start wearing my hair. It looks cute! Did you blow dry it or what? No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Calm all enough. You put your finger in a light socket? It looks cute, I love it. Put some hairspray on it so it'll stay all day. Oh, bye. See ya. Bye. That little packet made a mess, but this looks good. It looks really, really nice, actually. I forgot to clean it out of my hair. It's fine. Just act like you don't see anything if you still see it. It looks good. Something on the lips though. Did it blow my mind and make me want to go buy the full size? No. But 
We'll see how it wears throughout the day. I mean, it does look good right now. We shall see. I'm going to put on some of the NYX Pro Fix Concealer in Pink on the under eyes. I don't think this um, foundation really needs concealer at all. It looks great. Um, but I do want to use the concealer that I bought. This is the Kosas Revealer Concealer. Um, it says super creamy and brightening concealer. I have the shade 01N and I actually went in to buy the Natasha Denona concealer and it was out of stock in the shade that I wanted and the lady that was there told me this one was the same. So I don't know. Let me know if you have both. But I did swatch this and it looked great, but holy moly, it looks really light. Let me just do one little part because I don't want to put this all over if it's not going to be the right shade. I don't know, what do you think? I feel like it's a little too light. You know what, I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip it for now, because I'm gonna wear this all day. I'm gonna go with the House Labs Triclone Concealer. I have this in the shade um, 11 Light Neutral. And I haven't really worn this one. Oh yeah, that's way better. That's definitely more my shade. Um, anyway, I haven't really worn this one around the whole face. I did one or two times and I thought it was it was okay. But I think it really shines on the under eyes. But we'll put it on anyway. It's a little bit of a thicker texture, but it blends really well. I kind of want to try this on my whole face. I feel like I shouldn't have done the concealer because I think it's looking a little bit heavy right now. Maybe I'm just not used to wearing a foundation like that because um, it's looking a little bit heavy, you know? And maybe it's just because I have a full face of actual foundation on right now. I'm like, whose face is that, you know? I don't know. We'll see. It might grow on me throughout the day. I did get a new powder from Believe Beauty. This is the Matte Blur Loose Powder. I got the translucent one. This is from Dollar General. And I could swear that I already owned this and uh, that I decluttered it. I could swear because I remember buying a bunch of Believe Beauty stuff and I feel like this was one of them. Let's just dump a little into the cap and I'm gonna work it into my brush. I keep meaning to use new brushes. I have so many, but you know, some of the brushes that we use just feel like an extension of our hand and that's how this one is for me, for powder. It's from Ulta Beauty and it was part of their uh, Harry Potter collection that they put out with called the Deathly Hollows. I mean, look at this brush handle. It's so nice. And these brushes were luxurious feeling. Well, the powder did its job. Everything is matte and set. <sighs> Maybe I'm just, it just looks heavy. It just looks heavy to me. When I look at it, I'm like, yeah, you're wearing foundation. I don't know. Maybe some setting spray. We're gonna make it come together. It's all gonna work out in the end. I did get a new bronzer also from Believe Beauty and I was really excited about this. Um, in my haul video, I did put some of this on, just, I don't know, on top of the makeup I already had on. This is the Starstruck Marbleized Bronzer in the shade Golden Sienna. It says, this radiant highlighting and bronzing powder creates a warm ambient glow. And from the pan alone, it does look like it has a highlighting quality to it. But when I swatched it out, it just has like a nice satin finish to it. It's just like not a matte bronzer. I did try it only that one time. So we'll see what it looks like today. I mean, it looks pretty. It looks really nice and soft. I think it's so pretty. It's really, really nice. It kind of reminds me a little of the same effect I get from the Milani baked bronzer. Just like a nice little tiny bit of satin finish. It's not really highlighting, like I don't really see shimmer or anything in it. I think it's just that nice little satin finish. I like it. I don't know what happened here though. This looks muddy. I just noticed it. 
Maybe there wasn't enough powder there and it kind of stuck. I don't know. But I feel like I put out enough powder. All right, there we go. A little on the nose, a little on the nose. Okay, for blush, I have two. And I couldn't decide which one to use, but then I thought I didn't want to pull out any eyeshadows to use because I didn't buy anything new. And I think I'm just going to use some of this bronzer on the eyes as eyeshadow. So I think either of these blushes will be just fine. These are the e.l.f. Camel Liquid Blushes. Um, I have the shade Coral Crush and bo blo mm. Bronze Bombshell. Let me swatch these out, actually, because I have one of these in the shade Pe Peach Perfect. And even though these say high pigment, that one is not high pigment at all, but maybe it's just that shade. So I'm going to swatch out a bronze moment, bronze bombshell. And this one is Coral Crush. This one I couldn't resist. I mean, look at it. I love a good punchy coral blush. Holy moly. Okay. I mean, there they are in a swatch. Let's see what these look like. There they are blended. I mean... They've got some pigment. They're packing some pigment. Which one do I want to put on? I kind of want to put on the bronze one. I also think I want to put on more bronzer. I don't know. I feel like the rest of my face just looks so flat. I don't know. Maybe after some highlighter it'll look okay. I kind of want to use that one. So I'm going to do... I want to do a little more bronzer. I'm feeling, I'm feeling weird. Maybe it's just because that whole... The foundation has more coverage than I was expecting. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like it took all the life out of my face. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna go with it. Um, I think I'm just gonna do a little tiny bit more here on the hand. And I'm just gonna pick up from this swatch and put it on my face because I'm worried about the pigment now. This, these, okay, look at clown status over here. This has a lot of freaking pigment. I was not expecting it because that other one I have doesn't have a lot of pigment, but now I'm thinking maybe it's just that shade. Okay, let's just keep blending. Just keep blending, just keep blending, blending, blending. And I get these kinds of blushes, like a little goes a long way. You're going to get a lot of longevity out of this thing. You'll probably never have to buy another one. But also, like, it's a little much. It's a little much, you know? But I think it looks good. Does it? It looks good. I like it. A little more rosy than I was expecting, but nice. Really nice. I don't have anything new for highlighter. Actually, I do have this. The Milani Rose Glow, no, Stellar Lights Highlighter Palette. The shade is Rose Glow. Um, I haven't really enjoyed this one too much, but since it's new-ish and I haven't really featured it a lot, I'm gonna use it today. I'm gonna use maybe that pink one here from the, the Milani palette. This is just too intense, this uh, highlighter palette. And I like something intense. But, ooh, okay, never mind, hold on. I'm telling you a lie. Also, in the haul video that I did, I know I'm barely touching my face, and normally I just go like this, because I feel like this has a little too much pigment to it. Anyway, in the haul video that I did where I showed this, I did swatch them all, which you can see there, and I feel like I removed an overspray of glitter, because when I first used this, it was just glitter, it was a glitter bomb, and I didn't like it at all, and now I'm like, I guess it's okay, but I don't think I'm, I don't know if I'm really gonna reach for this too much. And I don't know about this blush. Maybe I need more here to even it out? Is that a bad idea? I think I'm gonna go with some bronzer. Actually, I'm gonna take just what's left on the brush. Maybe I just need some more here on the, by the nose. I don't know. Ugh. This right here is why I don't do first impression videos really, because 
they don't really tell you anything. Like this is the first time I've ever used these things and suddenly, and right now I'm like, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. But who knows, I might fall in love with them. I'm gonna put some of this bronzer in my, in my eyes real quick. Just to do a little thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is super pretty on the eyes. And it's such a smooth formula. Oh, that's a really pretty color. I'm really hoping some setting spray is going to tone down the look of the foundation right now. I'm not loving it. I'm not loving it. Maybe I put on too much. Those of you that have this and use it, please let me know. Okay, I'm going to do some eyeliner. Let's do the uh, Ulta Beauty Automatic Eyeliner in the shade Matte Black. And then we're going to do a little setting spray. I'm going to use the Ulta Beauty, um, what is it? Ulta Beauty Dewy Setting Spray. I'm going to give it a couple of extra sprays because I'm hoping it'll kind of mesh everything together a little bit. Okay, so spraying more setting spray, I could feel it drying on my face. It was just too much, but it gave a glow to my skin and I feel like maybe once it dries down like the setting spray, I mean it did take away that powdery look and maybe that what was making what was making me think everything looked so heavy. I don't know. Let me throw on some mascara and see if everything comes together. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Panorama Mascara again and the Maybelline Sky High Mascara on the lower lashes. Okay, mascara is on. Let's take a close look. Let me zoom you in. I don't know. I mean, from there, it looks fine, but everything always looks a lot better when you're filming in front of a window with some flattering sunlight coming through, through a camera lens. It looks fine, but I think I'm just not used to seeing such a full coverage foundation on my face. You know what I mean? But let me know what you think. What, how does it look? How does it look to you? Hmm. But that's it for now. I'm gonna check in here in a few hours. It's a, it's 2.30 right now. Um, so probably in like three hours as the sun starts going down, I'll come check in and see how I feel about it. Cause right now, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy about the foundation, just the way that it looks on my face. So I feel like from here up, the foundation looks fine. Like I have no issue with it. From here down, it looks heavy. Over here, it looks heavy and around the mouth, it looks like it's just too much and I can tell already if I eat later and I wipe my mouth it's gonna wipe the foundation off and it's gonna leave like an exposed bare skin around my mouth because just when I was trying to remove it from my lips with the q-tip I could see that it's exposing my skin do you know what I mean but we'll check in, in a few hours and see how I'm feeling about it see if it's settled down on my skin and yeah I'll see you maybe like three hours or so Okay, so it's now 6 p.m. and I think the makeup still looks exactly the same as it did when I first put it on. The foundation looks so glowy. It's dry to the touch. Like my face is not tacky at all, but it looks like it would be. And I feel like this foundation is riding that fine line between oily and a nice glow because it kind of looks oily in person, like it's super shiny around the nose area, although it's not tacky at all, like it's not oil that I can pull off of my skin. It's just the effect of the foundation, it's so glowy. And that is what I was expecting from the foundation, I was expecting it to be light reflecting, but dry to the touch. And I think they definitely pulled through on that claim. I don't know if you can even kind of like really tell how glowy it is on my face but it's glowy, it's glowy, but I can't tell if I like it that glowy. I don't know, I mean, it's better than matte. I'll take glowy over matte all day, but yeah, it definitely lived up to the claim. As far as everything else, I mean, the blush, I do feel like I put it on here and it, it came out patchy, like I feel like you can even see it a little bit patchy. 
Um, I got used to the the look of it. I feel like it was just a little much when I first put it on, but I did get used to it and I kind of ended up liking it throughout the day. I really liked the bronzer in the eyes as eyeshadow. I think it looked great. It blended great. And I just really liked that bronzer. The tone of it and the, the way it went on and the effect is really nice. I think if I were to use this foundation again though, I won't use so much. I won't use concealer on top of it because I don't think this coverage really needed the concealer anyway. Um, I just put it on because I wanted to use some. And I won't put powder on top of it because even though I said it, you could still see how glowy it is. Like I don't think powder even was necessary. I feel like the powder just made it look a little heavier on my face, which is why I wasn't so happy with it at first. I might just put powder like in the perimeter where I'm gonna put some powder bronzer, maybe just take away a little bit of that, little bit of that tackiness. But I don't think this needed powder at all because the, the shine came right through. I don't think the powder was even necessary to be honest. But everything else, you know, I'm happy with it. I feel like I did put on too much brow gel in the brows. I ended up removing this whole eyebrow and redoing it because I absolutely hated it. But I think that brow gel might just be coming to an end because it's getting a little thicker. A lot is coming out on the brush now and I'm not too happy with it. But that is it. That's how everything wore. I mean, I didn't have it on for a super long time today, but I feel like this would have stayed just like this. Like I ate more than once already. I drank a whole drink and it didn't remove around my mouth. I wiped my mouth multiple times as I was eating some soup. I even got some juice on my face and batted it off and the foundation stayed put. It didn't wipe off like I thought it was going to. I thought I was gonna have like an exposed ring around my mouth of foundation missing, but no, it held on really nicely. It didn't remove at all and I don't see it breaking down whatsoever. I'm still not sure if I love that super glowy finish from it. It's just something different, I guess, but I don't hate it as much as I thought I did on first impression. Um, so I'm glad I did this little check-in because if I left the video as it was, I was really unhappy with most of the things, but I think it came out okay. And I actually would try this foundation again. If they sell minis or I'm able to get a little sample maybe, I don't think I'd want to buy a full bottle of it, but yeah, that's it. So that was my little check-in. If you have the foundation or any of the other products I used today, let me know what you think of them. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss my next one, and I will see you later in another video. Goodbye. And I kind of love this lighting. It's 6 p.m. The sun is set behind the house that's next to me, and I have my light on in here. And it's kind of nice. It's kind of cozy. I can never get the lighting right in my videos, but this, this would be ideal for me. I think it looks great. Anyway, goodbye.